it is real. <laughs> but it, it's getting better. Mm -hmm. So I got some more people asking to come up. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm going to let them come up in case they have questions. And I'll talk to you later. That okay, is, sweetie? What's up? Take that care. Is up. Person up. I get long winded. I be like, damn, Rod, shut your ass up. Let the people talk. You know, the people hey, like, Rod, what you? <laughs> hey, I'm hey, how you doing, awesome. sweetie? Right how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. You, you make my <laughs> eyes. Oh, you see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that I've is... been out of stuff here. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm getting online. I'm at work. I got. I I'm at work. I wanted to show you this art piece I'm working on right now. Oh, let me see. How do I flip my camera? Oh yeah, yeah. The Panther. I'm not done. I I have a bunch of canvases and stuff, but I'm a. I'm gonna do it. You got some skills. Thank you. I have a lot of pieces. Um, um, the good news is that a store offered me a job to where I can start putting my art on t-shirts and stuff. That's why it's a rally. Because you yeah. get out into the world and then you got people walking around with your art on they, on their body. Mm -hmm. yeah. I yeah i'm really excited for it and i'm glad i have two instagrams so people don't get confused i have an art page and then this is my main, my family one you know but um yeah my i post a lot on social media i've been discovering um like you know when we talk about ancestral stuff there's a lot about my family that I didn't know. And then, and Did you, like, that's why I enjoyed going live. That amazed with, you. Uh, others here on Instagram because it gave me that space to talk. But then I saw that some people were not genuine. Oh, oh yeah. And, um, so, all the girls. What about your family? Uh, what was the Thank you. Yeah, I had some weird encounters, and then I'm like, I would get frustrated because I always had the motivation to teach exactly art, but that didn't. Um, but like, it's a competition a lot of times through the social media and stuff, and I would get shy. Like, I didn't want to participate in things. And uh, I'm right, I'm doing a documentary right now. I'm really excited about it. And it's going to be fun. That's this is fun. So, yeah, the pain? What? Can you hear you? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry. Well, uh, all of the new stuff you discovered about your family, what was the thing that fascinated you the most? That fascinated me the most was, I guess, my ancestors, you know? And then learning, like, when I went to school, like, I didn't like it, obviously, but when I was there, it taught me, like, I was always the awkward kid like I didn't get along I, I and especially where I grew up uh, like a mix so I went to a uh, strictly Hispanic school mm -hmm. you know so a lot of them didn't even look at me as um, Hispanic but um, um, but I'm black you know so they don't it was very, very hard and I got made fun of a lot bullied and stuff 
What are you doing? But my art um, taught, taught me how to get through that. And, and um, I think sometimes with the things I went through as a child, maybe hindered me as an adult. And that's why I want to help other women because I know women struggle through um, things that we went through as children. And yeah, that's my whole motive. I want to help people do art and learn art in a way of experience expression and i can show it to you again so you can <laughs> have all my art supply i'm just nervous so i'm like you are right yeah that's cool right? and you know i kind of like wanted to make the panther look like earth yeah but i'm not done yet this is it like i i'm not um this is just a sketch you got anything that's finished? Um, yeah, give me one second so I can show you. Now, there's a, a couple pieces I'm working on. I'm not done with this one. And then here, let me show. And um, this one it was made by my son's father. We're not together, but yeah, we inspired each other's art a lot. Yeah. I've been, there's a lot of detail in it. Like, I've been, um, I try to make it look like a, like a, a turtle. Mm -hmm. With a flower um, shell, and then I'm trying to do the detail where it looks more like an eye, mm -hmm. and then yeah, yeah. So one one of my favorite paintings is actually with a shop that I was um, working with, so I don't have it right now, but I do have more artwork that you can show. Sorry, all these cameras. Oh, you're mute. I don't know if I can hear you. I said you got some good stuff. Yeah. And, and like, I feel like the Aztec stuff, for me personally, it means a lot. And that's why I try to, like, teach people about it. Mm -hmm. Because I want people to remember that, like, a lot of people get afraid of Mexico, you know? Or, like, I want to go there. But even my family that's from Mexico tell me not to go. You are like, remind me of Frida Kahlo. Yeah. Oh. Okay, sweetie, I'm going to let you out so I can let somebody come up and ask some questions, all right? All right. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sweetie. I'll talk to you later.
Let's get physical, physical. I wanna. Hello. Hey. Where you? Let me get some some light. Uh, how you doing? I'm trying to figure out how I can hear you, but I can't see you. Mm -hmm. Is your camera on? Yeah. Can you see me now? Oh. But go ahead, sweetie. You ask your question. Um. So I've been. How? How have? How? How are you doing? First of all. Uh, I'm doing miserable as ever, just like I'm supposed to oh, be. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a temporary condition. I ain't gonna live in that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, you been, know, you, I've been watching. You gotta be something, you, right? what? you gotta go through something to be something, right? Most definitely. I'm learning okay. that now. So I can be something. Yeah, I've been um watching you and following you for a while now, maybe like two, three years, and I just I'm fascinated with um just like the connection that you have with with people mm -hmm. of like just, just telling us I don't know like the the spiritual part of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like how you can just when people talk to you, when you have conversations with people, and you can just tell them like about themselves, you know. So the the question that I was having was like, I I want to be more in tune with like spiritually, like with my ancestors and stuff, because like a lot of people I have, I feel like I'm having those um intuitive moments or whatever but i don't know it's it just i don't never get like confirmation you know okay so let me help you with that i need you to go to youtube and type in the art and science of self-talk where you can just type self-talk in it and they're going to give you tech, they're going to explain to you how it works, the mechanics of the self-talk. Mm -hmm. Then you hit, um, type in how to breathe like a singer. And every day, for a couple minutes a day, it don't have to be no all day thing, but start controlling your breath like a singer, <laughs> right? And the exercises that singers do for breath control. Right. Then um, you need to activate your first. You have to learn your higher language. This is why you need the self-talk. So when you start start talking to yourself, you gonna in your mind you gonna hear the answer coming back to you from source. Don't let nobody, nobody confuse you with what's going on inside your head. But everything that comes in your head is not your thought. So if it don't sound like your voice, it ain't from you. But if you recognize the voice, you'll know who it comes mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. Don't even know that when we hear things playing in our head, that they're not all in the same voice until you start paying attention. Okay. Right? So this. This is why you got to learn the art and science of self-talk so you can read out all of the background talkers and tune in to your own voice coming from the higher realms. Mm -hmm. Then your information will start to be more accurate because now when your intuition activate, you can intellectualize what you're perceiving because now you know how your higher self communicate with you. Mm -hmm. Right? And then I want you to get a book called the CRV Manual, the Controlled Remote Viewer Manual. It's going to give you exercises in there to train yourself how to be a remote viewer. That's clairvoyance. That's the ability to see into anywhere within the confines of space and time with the projection of the mind to the location. 
if you do those things by the time but then practice them you won't even realize that you from the practice you start actively to be an active oracle okay so yeah because that's definitely what i need to work on is like my discernment with um just in general just my discernment because I, I feel like I have, like, them, them superpowers or whatever. I call them superpowers. My my great aunt, she knows. You ever heard of a saying where if you dream a fish, then they, someone in the family is pregnant? Yeah. She, she's been doing that for years. Like, and I told her about it, and I was like, yeah, you got superpowers or whatever. She was just like... She don't, I don't know. She, I don't know if she recognized it as that or, but she just. It's the same as ESP. Yeah. So the, I just gave you the um, practice. It makes you turn up the ability to use your psychic faculties better. Yeah, because I'm, if I'm trying to, and I'm trying to figure out like what, I know I have a lot, I've been, like as a child, I dream a lot and I have weird dreams or sometimes it feel like my dreams are like deja vu. Like it's something about like dreaming is different for me, but I can't, can't never really like. What's your name, sweetie? Uh, Takia. Takia, where, where are you calling from? North. I supposed to ask that when I pick you up. I'll... I forgot somebody in the comments just reminded me. From Durham, North Carolina. Ain't that something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, girl. Yes. So, uh, the stuff that um that that you will be learning, it's gonna work gradually. You, the more you practice it, the stronger it's gonna be when it starts working. Because once you understand understand your higher language and how you communicate with yourself you then you begin to be able to write your own personal codex which is a translating tool for your dreams this is why people dream journals mm. because the dream will show patterns in the physical realm where you can translate your dreams yeah. more accurate yeah that's what i'm trying to i'll be i'll be trying to figure it out like i look online and like do the you know dream um meanings and stuff like that and sometimes it makes sense but sometimes i can't like really what you call it uh it don't it don't actually match with what yeah. you feel yeah um yeah so in the, dream, the, in the dream state the the hit the understanding of what an archetype is is important because because when you go into, because when you're in the dream state, you're in fourth dimensional mind matrix. Mm -hmm. But when you're in the you in spirit matrix. The astral realm imprints on the physical realm everything that we see. But it all has to go through agency of the mind, the fourth dimension from the fifth in order to get to the third. And that's why they say, if you can think of it, create it. If you don't, somebody else will. That's because once you bring the thought down into the physical world, it has to manifest. And if you can't make it manifest, somebody who know who else will get the idea that'll figure it out. Mm. And that's why you need a patent office because people don't always patent their ideas and then they look up somebody else got a patent on it. Yeah. So you got five coming in at the same time they call that popping the quip but the first patent file was the one who opened up the door for it to come through yeah so that's how you get the um astral impression of the 3d to manifest in the 3d using the agency of man and mind mm. yeah. i don't know what that means but i i hear you so they're saying that the spirit in the 3D used people to bring stuff into the 3D that was developed in the 5D. Now we're going in the 5D consciousness in the 3D realm. 
we still gonna be in the 3D realm, but we're gonna have fifth dimensional consciousness, which is like having your personal tutor once you understand how to read your higher self. Then you purify the ego, which allows you to know your highest good can be expressed easiest than your worst wickedness. Okay. I hear that. I hear okay. that. Yeah. I appreciate it. So uh you said YouTube and look up self talk and then do a breathing do the breathing methods that singers do. Yeah. And that'll help me out. Yeah, and don't forget the CRV control remote viewing manual. So I hope you gonna say this live, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say okay, it. Okay, because I don't got no pen. So you said CRV something something. Play it back.